Welcome to the UCM Interface Bible Study Podcast. Isa itong Bible Study Podcast by Pinoy's for Pinoy's. Just uh, friends around the table, conversational lang, na inductive, aka expository style. Hindi kami experts, most of us are young professionals, but we do our best to study context and let scripture speak for itself. We go book by book, but we also have special study topics once in a while. But before we start, salamat, thanks for joining us, and kung trip nyo tong ginagawa namin, please subscribe. Ako si Gucci. Ako si Rainier. And this is Christina. Hello, guys. Yeah, and if we haven't mentioned it before, Christina is a doctor. O ano yeah. Mga, sabihin mo nga ulit, kasi nalilito ako nung klaseng doktor ke. Ah, uh, doktor ako sa utak. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so, para dun sa mga may problema sa utak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, today we're gonna do like a one-shot episode, and it's the introduction to reading Psalms. Yes. Psalms. 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 Yeah. Psalms. Not Psalms. No, uh, yeah. walang L. It's Psalms. <laughs> Psalms, yeah. But right before we start, I have a warm-up question. Here are lyrics to a song. What is this song talking about just from the lyrics? Ah? Okay. I've got to get ready just a few minutes more. Gonna get that old feeling when you walk through that door. Because tonight is the night for feeling all right. We'll be making love the whole night through. Ay, grabe. Kala ko, ko akala ko pa Psalms, yeah. bakit Song of Songs yata yung <laughs> tema niya. So what do you think? What is, what is uh, for just from these, from these uh, lyrics? Parang excited siyang makita yung lover niya. Yeah. Mm-mm. So it could be like a love song. Yun, I agree with the excitement. Uh-huh. And yun, looking forward to whatever's gonna happen that night. Meron nga lang siyang sexual overtones. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. So it's actually a song by Whitney Houston, Saving All My Love For yeah. You. But tonight uh, so, is the night. Yeah. Now, to put those lyrics in context, let's read the first set of verses. A few stolen moments is all that we share. You've got your family and they need you there. Though I've tried to resist being last on your list, but no other man's gonna do. So I'm saving all my love for you. So, before it sounded like a normal love song. Mm-hmm. Pero now, with the context of the first set of verses, what does the story now say? Dakilang kabit. Oh, it's actually a mistress song, di ba? So, Adultery pala ito. Yung pala yung nangyayari dun sa story ng song na to. Just by reading the first set of verses, it puts the story in perspective. Tama. Mm-hmm. Okay, next song, next song. Closing time. Open all the doors and let you out into the world. Closing mm-hmm. time. Turn all of the lights on over every boy and every girl. Closing time. One last call for alcohol. So finish your whiskey or beer. Closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can stay here. I know who I want to take me home. Yeah. What do you think is the story of Closing these set of verses? Time. Oh, yeah, diba? Hindi malinaw, pero parang tatapos na. Closing. Parang uh, nasa bar sila. Yeah. Uh, parang nasa bar. Sasa na bar. yung bar. Right, Last right. Last order. Uh-huh. Which is how I understood this song from way back. Now, this song has been written by Dan Wilson. Uh-huh. And it's by Semisonic. And the story here, as he explains on the video, is that his wife was pregnant. Oh. Nung, nung time na to. Okay. And then what happened was that yung banda niya was like, oh no, yung ating writer will write a junior song. I love my son, I oh, love the junior, oh, I love you. Oh. Okay. And they're like, no, no, no. So gumawa siya ng song, which is the dad song, at tinago niya sa pangalang Closing Time. This is apparently about childbirth. Or like the season about entering yung, parenthood. Grabe yung metaphor. Ang ganda, di ba? <laughs> so, let's Hindi check the... Hindi ko mahuhuli yun. You know, oh, le- no, wait, just check the lyrics next. again. Ah. Closing time. Open all the doors and let you out into the world. Uh, <laughs> di ba? Di ba? <clears throat> Closing time. Turn all off the lights of every boy and every girl. So parang highlighting children. And then, one last call for alcohol. So finish your whiskey or beer. So I think it's... Magpapalit na yung buhay mo kasi magiging parents ka na eh. Mm-hmm. Magiging, you know, magiging parent ka. Ka. Oh, oh, oh. You don't have to go home but you can't stay here in the... Tommy oh, of the Tommy. Oh. And then ito pa. Ito pa yung matindi. Um, time for you to go back to the places you will be from. Pag pinanganak ka... Kung saan ka pupunta, doon ka manggagaling. Pinanganak ako sa Makati. Di, I'm from Makati. I, okay. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. So okay. it's like, it's a transition to a new life. So anyway, the point is, we now understand the context of the song 
because we know the story of the writer. Diba? All right. So two things yon. First is checking out the entire the lyrics. entire lyrics, and second is understanding the context of the person who wrote the song. The occasion. Oh, oh, oh. why he wrote the song? Purpose. Right. Why he wrote the song? And it gives the song new life. It gives the song new right. meaning, and that is how I will introduce how to read. Psalms because these are like the main ideas that we will discover as we go through teaching. And I, I highlight introduction here because I'm not exactly an expert, mm-hmm. but I just like reading. Again, guys, we're just geeking out on the yeah. Bible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New framework na to, nabasa ko dun sa, ano yung book na ni? Gordon Fee. Gordon Fee. Uh, tsaka dalawa silang authors no. Ito yung libro na ang title ay How, How to, to read. read the Bible for All It's Worth. Yeah, excellent read. And so basically, I read through through the Psalms part and created a presentation, of course, with my personal <laughs> way of, of, of teaching. By the way, that book is locally available. Eh? Yung mga listeners natin na gustong bumili ng libro na yun, mm. I know it's available at OMF. And it is an excellent book to read. It's a, And there's a lot of resources, but I think it's a great way. It's Isa a great book to start. It's a great book to start. Libro. Uh, yeah. And uh, again, this is an introduction. And there's we're not going through yung discussion on how to read Psalms as separated into five books and your structure about the Messianic King, which is all there. And the Bible Project actually discusses uh-huh. this. And, and again, guys, if you haven't checked out the Bible Project, stop this video now and go there. Go to the website, <laughs> to the Bible the... Project. <laughs> stop. And their videos uh-huh. can be downloaded for free. Yeah. Napakaganda it, ng ministry na to. Excellent resource. So check it out. Pause this now and go there. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Yung objective dito is to help on how to meditate over the Psalms, especially when you read it. Because usually, you don't usually read Psalms as the whole book in one go. Eh. Usually, two chapters, Old Testament, two chapters, New Testament and then may Psalm. Di ba na may yeah. ganun yung mga reading plan ng mga tao. Uh, eh, anyway, this is to help meditate on the Psalms that you read for a richer experience hopefully. Right. Okay, so 150 Psalms and almost half was written by David, some by the sons of Korah. May iba si Moses, si Asaph, tsaka si Anon, si Anonymous na hanggang ngayon sumusulat pa rin ako uno no sa internet. <laughs> and it's very prominent and it has inspired a lot of worship songs and hymns. Now, ito yung challenge, it's God's word. Right. Right. And we assume, when we say God's word, kasi it's, we assume that all of God's words are from God to the people. Right. Diba? Pero yung thing with Psalms, it's from people to God, from people talking about God, uh-huh. and yet it's still God's word to us. Yeah. So how does that work? Ibig mo sabihin, sinulat ito ng isang tao about God, but uh, it's not confined to that dialogue? interaction. Yeah, interaction. Uh-oh. Pero para sa atin ding lahat ito. Tama, tama. Yung sinulat Uh-oh. na yun. So yun yung challenge of how to read through this eh. Psalms are prayers and hymns that are addressed to God or express truth about God in song. And uh, there are other types of books in the Bible. And again, yung ngayon, para may genre, may narrative, may doctrinal, may teaching about the moral behavior. And that's not necessarily the priority when you read Psalms. Uh, Iba yung pagkakabasa sa kanya versus kung magbasa ka ng romance. Or magbasa right. ka ng Ruth. May story. Hindi siya kwento. Oh, hindi siya kwento. Poetry. Pero may eh, doctrine pa rin siya. Pero meron pa rin. In fact, if you check check out Romans 15 Paul actually quotes Psalms yes anyway we're, we don't Asking Romans 3 yung right, kanyang, right. yung sa dinidescribe niya doon na yung throats ay parang grave lahat yun ay galing sa Psalms ang nakakatawa doon kay Paul pinagtahi-tahi niya yung mga Psalms to describe how sinful man is right ginamit niya sa uh, so it still teaches Doctrine. doctrinal truths mm-hmm. but it's not the primary usage of Psalms the primary usage is expression. The emotions are very raw. May joy, may happiness. Right. There yeah. are angry, angry emotions in Psalms. Galit kung galit. Oh, di ba? Yeah. Oh. And, and, yunga, and loneliness. There's desperation. There's yeah. like hopelessness. And yunga, yung on one hand, we cannot deny these. That these are real emotions. Eh? Mm-hmm. And I think that's the tendency to extremes. One is suppressing. Ay, Christian ka. Bawal yung anger oh, na Bakit ka ganyan? Magkakasala ka pag galit ka. Bawal, bawal maging lonely. It's an extreme that's unhealthy. On the other hand, pagka nag-wild ka naman doon sa emotions na to, feel it, it's true. Indulge. Oo, kung nag-indulge ka. Wala. <laughs> Anong mangyari sa buhay mo? <laughs> Wala rin. Wala rin, di ba? Okay, so, to understand the nature of Psalms and the different types, 
So na mention ni Doc na poetry siya. And there's uh, yung Hebrew poetry daw has like this repetitive style and uh, there are three categories which we don't need to remember the these technical terms. It's just to emphasize the structure of it. The first is synonymous parallelism which is yung the second line repeats the first line. The first line is the general idea. Right. And then the second line will expound. Sometimes there's even a third line. Itong style na to, very common. Yeah. It's not just found in the Psalms, but itong Hebrew parallelism that's really everywhere in the Bible. Basta meron ka makikita parang poetic yung pagkakasal. Right, that. right. Uh, Isaiah 44, 22. I have swept away your offenses like a cloud, your sins like the morning mist. It's, it's like almost cloud, saying the same thing, like but... Like a cloud, tapos mist. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's almost saying the same thing, but it's reinforcing the idea. Right. That's exactly how Genesis 1, and God created man in his image, male and female. He created, he created them. them. Uh, so yung, yeah. yung mga ganun, uh-huh. yung mga ganung tipo. Okay, so next one. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Oh, it's the same thought. Psalm 40, 40 verse 13. Stated differently. It's stated differently. Mm. Uh, mas maganda siguro yun kung marunong tayo magbasa ng Hebrew. Baka mas oh, maganda baka yung effect niya. No? Oh. Kasi, kasi translation na to eh. Oh, I wonder nga kung, I wonder kung nag-rhyme pa nga siya. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. Kasi songs, uh, ginagamit siya songs uh, eh. So, uh, possible that uh, oh, uh, nag-rhyme. Possible Baka merong siya. rhythm pa siya. Uh, uh, the second one is antithetical parallelism. So yung subsequent line contrasts the first mm. line and reinforces it. Ecclesiastes 10 to the heart of the wise inclines to the right but the heart of the fool to the left. So may contrast talaga. May contrast siya. Pero syempre, ano yung sinasabi niya na ito yung pinupuntahan ng wise. Ito yung pinupuntahan ng mali. Yung left symbolizes something that's wrong or uh-huh. negative. Hindi natin sinasabi mga kaliwete ay... Yeah, hindi naman. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> okay. talaga kaliwete ako. Kaliwete ka ba? <laughs> the second line reinforces the first by saying the complete opposite. Your example is from the book of Ecclesiastes, not mm. from the Psalms. It simply means, ito talaga yung formula sa pagsusulat ng poetry nila. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Because even in Proverbs, di ba? Marami oh, marami rin ganyan. ganyan. Oh, this next one is synthetic parallelism. The subsequent line adds more info. So, first one is a general idea. The second one is like uh, zooming in right. on a specific yeah. point within that general idea, right. I suppose. And since we mentioned Proverbs, here's Proverbs 21, 27. The sacrifice of the wicked is detestable. How much more so when brought with evil intent? Wow. Grabe. Mas grabe pa. Mas grabe pa. Grabe pa more. Uh. <laughs> yeah. And then dito, uh, Obadiah 21. Believers will go up on Mount Zion to govern the mountains of Esau, and the kingdom will be the Lord's. So you mentioned yung tatlo. Uh-oh. So that's an example three lines. Na, that three lines reinforcing the first one. Right. The first line is just the general idea. Second line explains it further. The third, mas lalo pa. Uh-huh. So it's zooming in. Those are just three examples of parallelisms. We don't have to memorize mm-hmm. those. But just so we can get into like understanding yung, yung mindsets when we read the Psalms. Okay, now, Psalms as poetry. There are three main features. The first one is Hebrew poetry was addressed to the mind through, through the, the heart. heart. Okay, the writing style, again, is very poetic. And yung Akayasha through the heart. It's the, actually teaching you something. It's teaching you That's something. That's why it's to the mind. Pero it captures you first through your emotions. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, so an example of that, Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. Is this saying that if you look to the skies, you will get revelation from God. Um, the beauty of creation. Right. Oh, right, right. So, what it's actually saying, if I were to rewrite this, is God's glory is revealed in His creation, especially in the heavenly bodies. Do you see how beautiful the heavenly bodies oh, are? But yung, yung pagkakasabi mo, that's too plain. The creative way of stating your plain <laughs> nga, statement diba? is some. Um, Oh. 19. <laughs> ano naman yung classic lyrics na yun na God's glory is revealed in His creation especially in heavenly bodies. Pang romantic pala talaga itong psalm. <laughs> Kaya pala hirap akong basahin oh. yan. Hindi ako romantic. Eh. Siguro yeah. pang ano ako yung mga lamentation. <laughs> Pero yun nga, parang anong klaseng lyrics naman kung plainly written siya na diretso, diretso uh, lang God's glory is revealed in His... 
creation of wrestling artistic. in everybody. It's very artistic. Diba, it's very artistic. Oh, dyan hindi ako marunong kasi ang background ko is really science. Pag nagsusulat ka ng scientific paper, napaka-plain niya. Parang oh, nagre-report ka lang. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Doon do, do ako oh. sanay magsulat. Hindi ako creative writer. Oh, so I, I, bet, I bet a lot of people who write poems will be able they will to, like this. Yeah. to relate oh, to this. Oh. So the first one again is Hebrew poetry was addressed to the mind through the heart. It's very emotional. The uh-huh. second one is Psalms are musical poems. Right. Psalms are musical poems. They're lyrics. And so we can't read it like an epistle. Objective again to appeal to emotion versus propositional thinking. Pwede siya magturo ng doctrine pero hindi yun yung primary function niya. Let's study this one. Psalm 51 5. Surely I was sinful at birth. Sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Now, is the psalmist teaching conception is evil? Or is he trying to say that children are sinful and wicked even as they are an embryo? Parang hindi naman. Okay. Now, if we read from verse 1, in fact, if we read the note before verse 1, A psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet went to him, after he had gone into Bathsheba. Hule ka, boy! <laughs> ah, ito yung... <laughs> ito yung context? Ayun yung context niya! Oh. Parang... Ah, ito nga pala yun, yung create in me a clean heart of oh, God. Oh, oh. Yeah. So yung kwento pala nito is, I am so wicked. Pinanganak pala ako, sobrang sama na akong tao. And... So hindi ito nagtuturo ng doctrine of original sin? Yun ba yun? Oh, so yun yung thing. I mean, that's a good discussion to talk about, uh-huh. but that's not the function of these verses. Okay. Yeah. These verses are talking about just expression of David when he was confronted and this said, is how Ikaw, evil. you were that man! This is how evil I am. This That's is why how I evil committed I am. adultery. Hindi pa ako pinapanak masama na akong tao. Parang ganun. Kasalanan na ako. Uh, Oo, ganun, ganun, yung, ganun yung sinasabi niya. Sa Tagalog, may mga ganyan ding expressions. Oh. Exaggeration. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Buhay pa man, panggatong na sa impyerno yung kaluluwa niya. Oh, ganun, 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 ganun. Di ba? Oh, di, and we can understand that. Kasi right, they are, right. they are, ano to, sobra kang broke. Mas mahirap ka pa sa daga. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sobra. <laughs> it's funny, and you know that it's not literally true, mm-hmm. but you can understand mm-hmm. what it the means. Name. Yeah, right. right. And that's the third point, which is Psalms are purposely metaphorical. And we checked out two Psalms before, right? The Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory right. of God. Yeah. Uh, and what does that mean when you put into non living objects or inanimate objects and you put human, human characteristics? Oh, uh, human characteristics. Uh-huh. What do you call that? Personification. And then the second one is Psalm 51, where he exaggerates. You call that uh, hyperbole. Yeah. Hyperbole. Okay. And we, we do that a lot. Yeah. Oh, oh. Now, there is a purpose to why there's a lot of metaphors here. Like, for example, the Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. The Lord Psalm is my rock. My the Lord is my fortress. The Lord my is my rock. shield. And there's a, I mean, literally, would you really think that God is this castle? Or God is a shield. You know? But there is a point to that why uh-uh. that is being said. And there uh-huh. is intention. Okay. Merong intention dun sa figure of speech. And so to be able to understand kung ano yung, ano yung hina-highlight nung metaphor, maintindihan natin kung ano yung, mm. yung tinuturo. With these things in mind, let me have another song. Okay. This is a familiar contemporary song which was rewritten by me. I was a jerk when we were together. I did a lot of things that hurt you. That's why I've been calling you a lot of times. But seems you're still avoiding me and you don't care about it now. So, never mind. This is uh, the gist of the song and this you just rewrote it. I rewrote it. Okay. it. Okay. Okay. So, that's right. I said that he can't sing. He's angry, What is the song? It's actually this. Hello from the other side. I must have called a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry for everything I've done. I mean, we know what it means. Right. But hindi naman niya sinasabing a thousand talaga. I mean, pag kami sinabi, grabe, isang libong beses ko na siyang tinawagan. We know that that person actually didn't spend a thousand. Literally a thousand. Oh, literally. But we know that that person called a lot of times. And that guy is not picking up. And then clearly doesn't tear you apart. Is she expecting that the guy will like burst in guts and blood tear no. you apart hindi naman di ba but we know the emotional 
Grabe. Tor. Oh, iba. Tor. Parang alam na alam mo yung mga ganyang feeling. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> okay. Familiar sa'yo. <laughs> so now, hindi ko lang kung ano yung mga wisdom na pwede nating pulutin sa Siguro hello but, uh, ni Adele. Pero, example lang. Pero, meron siyang clear emotion and expression. And dito pa lang, dito sa chorus ni Adele, may two characters, di ba? Ano yung na-feel nung girl? Oh, rejection. Rejection, desperado. And then yung guy? NR. 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 Kebs. Oh, oh, wala oh, siyang oh. response. Nakamove on na siya. Oh, nakamove on na siya. Kawawa that's, naman yung babae. Uh, diba? And that's the... Siya and that's the <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's the... And that's the thing. That's the emotions that's being represented here. To be able to see kung ano yung expression ng emotion dun sa Psalms would be really helpful for us. Okay. Israelites, when they treated Psalms, they treated it as holes. They do okay. not isolate lines. Ah, yung mga verses, hindi lang yung oh, isa-isa. hindi yung parang piling ka na ng isa and then tira mo na yun. Mm-hmm. Meron siyang context kasi part of the lyrics siya. And that's important to keep in mind kasi inga, uh, each line will have the right meaning kung alam mo yung the whole, whole kwento. Okay. Kaya nga yung Jesus on the cross where he says, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And that's from? Psalm 22. Oh, and there's a, ano yan? Well, it's a rabbinical that? teaching technique. It's called a ramez. Mm. Others say remez. Ang ibig sabihin lang naman nun, yung rabbi will quote a passage from scripture just to give a hint kung ano yung tinutukoy niya. Kung baga sa atin, yun na nga, kanta ni Adele. Pag sinabi mong, hello, well, depending nga pala sa generation niya. Kasi kung, <laughs> baka mamaya si Lionel Richie yung maisip, ano? Hindi pala, si Adele pala. But that's the whole point. Pag sinabi niya na, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And when Jesus said this, when he recited that, he was on the cross, he was inviting the people to check out Psalm 22 because everything else, or everything rather, that's stated in Psalm 22 is happening right before their eyes. So Psalm 22, in its entirety, is being fulfilled. So basically, he's saying that, and it's like, yung mga tao, hey, that's my jams. I know that. Psalm 22 yeah, yun. Psalm 22 yun. Tapos teka lang. About. Oh, yung lahat ng ginawa natin sa kanya, yun yung nangyayari sa Psalm 22. Pagkapasok mo sa Psalm 22, yung isang verse na yun will unravel the whole psalm. Right. Para mm-hmm. maging klaro sa kanila kung ano ba itong significance nung nangyayari, nung crucifixion in particular. So they will understand, wait a minute, this is the Messiah. Dapat nahuli na nila yun. When Jesus said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Okay, so again, talking about Psalms as literature, when they read, alam na nila kung ano yung binabasa nila beforehand. Parang alam na nila in yung, yung mindset nila na what Psalm am I reading. And I'm gonna put in different categories here. And hindi to strict classifications, but these are just examples to kind of help us identify right. major themes. May laments, expression of struggles, disappointment, grief, grief suffering. Merong trust na, I trust you, God, especially ngayon na naghihirap ako. Tapos sa uh, Thanksgiving, usually pag Thanksgiving, it's like, thank you, Lord, specifically for something na ginawa mo para sa akin. Mm. Merong example kung anong ginawa niyo mismo. And then praise, it's like, thank you, Lord, for who, being who you are and not necessarily something na ginawa niya. It's, it's really because of God's his character. character. Oh, God's character. Salvation history. Ito, pagka may mga mention na freed us from Egypt. And then merong celebration, affirmation, dealt with kingship, Jerusalem, enthronement. Usually, ginagamit daw siya for ceremony for yung mga current kings. But also, it sort of echoes yung future king, mm-hmm. yung messianic king. And then wisdom, teaching wisdom. And I'll put a special add to this one, imprecatory psalms, oh. which I'm sure would be a big question to our oh, listeners. Now, how do we... <laughs> Ano yun? Yung mga crush their knees uh-huh, and break okay. their teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ganon. What do you think of imprecatory psalms? I have read different things about mm. imprecatory psalms. I've read one commentator saying that if you pray an imprecatory psalm or imprecatory prayer, you have to be ready to be imprecated yourself. Interesting. Oh, may mga ganon. Meron din naman nagsabi, and an imprecatory prayer is something that Christians no longer have to pray. Okay, okay. Because of the cross. Mm. Noon, justice can only be achieved 
through God showing his anger to all God's enemies. But now, it's through the cross. If you want justice, well, there it is. Okay, yeah. It's, it's the cross of Jesus. Yung sa aking nabasa, and ito kay John Stott. Uh-huh. Yung sa mga favorite jams ko ngayon si John Stott. Eh. If I got it right, basically, sinasabi niya na yung psalmist is representing the whole people of Israel desire nila when they're so close to God that they love the things that God loves and they hate the things that God hates. Right. And so, we really should be feeling this amount of hatred when we're seeing evil because God really hates evil. Mukhang mas gusto ko yan. Oo. Oh, oh. So not feeling this anger for evil is not because we're more civilized. It's just because we're not feeling what God is feeling when He right. sees evil. Because so na sobrang is, nasani na tayo sa, ka, sa kasamaan na parang, eh, So this is yun. what you call righteous indignation. Oo. Oh, oh. right? Yun yung sinasabi niya na if you really know the heart of God, break my heart for what breaks yours. Sabi nga nung lyrics, kanta. You will really hate the social injustices that are happening. You will hate the evil that's in, in the world. And the reason why the reason why we're not is because nasani na nga tayo. Wala, ganun talaga ang mundo eh. Pero at the same time, paano naman natin i-reconcile yun dun sinasabi ni Jesus na love your enemies and pray for your enemies. Ang sabi niya, we must continue to hate evil and not give any excuses for evil. Right. And yet, love our enemies enough to desire them to see the mercy of Christ. Right. I, I think it makes sense. Kaya nga minsan, maski nga sa prophets, pag sinabi ng, woe, woe is ganto ganyan, ganyan, and uh-huh. they will name a city or a people yeah. group. Yung woe na yun is, hindi naman yan yung, it's not a curse, but it's really an expression of lament. Umiiyak siya. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Habang sinasabi niya yun. Uh-huh. Umiiyak ako kasi grabe yung mga kasalanan nyo. Anyway, so there, because I'm sure that imprecatory psalms is like a big question. Yes. So maybe that's going to clarify some things. Right. Or, you know, again, we're, we're doing our best to also study sound teaching through these respected teachers that we research on. All right, so the psalms are a guide to worship and a guide on how we can honestly relate to God. Because what did say Jesus? Nga na, before you even pray, God already knows what you need. Mm-hmm. 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 And so it's like God already sees your heart even before you pray. Your deepest hurts and your deepest desires. Kita na ni Lord yan. Thus, right. we can be honest with our emotions. And we don't have to kind of like sinisensor pa natin and so that we can use beautiful words. Yeah. You know, ganun, di ba? And there is merit to that because we are approaching the throne of grace. But at the same time, God already sees the deepest hurts in our heart. There's no sugar coating. And, yeah, and uh, the importance of reflecting on and meditating on God's character. Parang we may run out of words, especially pag uh, galit na galit tayo. But we still remember the character of God and who He is. And that's like gonna be their anchor point whenever we, we pray na... The character of God is unchanging across this wilderness that I'm in, across this struggle that I'm in. And so to end, let's do an exercise. Psalm 42. This is one of my favorite, favorite psalms. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the Mighty One, with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throngs. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. My soul is downcast within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day, the Lord directs his love. At night, his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. Diba kanina, we were talking about yung types of literature. Right. What's like the things that we see here? Themes. 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 Longing for God. Yun yung mm. nakikita ko dito. Longing talaga. for God. There's an intense longing uh, for God. Depression. 
lament, di ba yung oh, lament? Diba? Lament. Encouragement. Encouragement oh, pa rin. Oh, oh, trust, mm-hmm. di ba? Any patterns that you guys see? Paulit-ulit yung tanong. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Where is, Where your, is your God? God? Uh, and dami niyang questions. Right, right. When can I go and meet with God? Why must I go about mourning? Parang absent siya Can you see verses that have been repeated? repeated? So that's verses 5 and 11. Right. Now, if this, kung kanta to, and kanta chorus. nga to, chorus. Mm-hmm. Diba? Siya okay. chorus. Chorus siya. So mm-hmm. meron siyang repeating theme, mm-hmm. which is this, why my soul you downcast? Mm-hmm. Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope, hope. in God. And yun yung interesting sa kanya eh, Na kung may structure, ito yung nakikita ko movement sa kanya. So one, two, three, it's down. It's going down. I'm so depressed. An expression of sadness. And then pagkating sa four, there's some sort of memory here that's like, oh, I remember the time before like when I was looking back. Uh, looking uh-huh. back. There's a recollection. There's a recollection of good times. Grabe yung paghihirap ko ngayon. Sinalala ko dati hindi. Dati sobrang okay, okay yung buhay. And then, chorus. Why so downcast? And the funny thing here is there's a figure of speech here. Or, say a figure of speech? Pero basically, it's like he's talking to his soul. It's almost like his soul is a person. It's a different mm-hmm. person. And he's, he's commanding his soul. Actually, he's talking to talking himself. To himself. Eh. So it's like the self, self-speech, the self-talk. Para ba nang yari yun pag kasabran depressed yung tao? Tasi encourage sa sarili niya. You can do this, coach. You can do parang ganon, di ba? Uh-huh. So yun di parang may may pep talk siya sa gitna. But after that, is it resolved? Ibalik na naman, Ibalik na naman yeah, di ba? Di pa rin. My soul is downcast with me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Bizar. And then merong this bridge na. It's a different it's tone. A different tone eh. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. The Lord directs his love. At night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. It's a different movement. Na, it's like, oh, but I remember. I yeah. remember the love of God that covers me. But the thing is, what happened after? So 9 and 10? Bagsak ulit. Bagsak na. <laughs> I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? So you see the turmoil. No? Yes. Oh, yes. and... Like a graph, it's a graph, it's undulation. And then chorus... Why are you downcast? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and God. Okay? I'm just understanding that rhythm. That's just unpacking the flow of the song. Question go, at the end of the song, does he get resolution for his problems? Hindi pa rin. Well, really? May happy hindi, ending ba yung song niya? No. May, wala, di ba? Well, uh, sabi, kasi future tense, for I will yet praise Him. Parang meron namang hope. Pero hindi pa tapos yung problema. It's very realistic. Isn't that how a lot of our situations go? Yeah. yeah. We never really... Like, there's a lot of our struggles that don't get resolution. It's not always happily ever after. Yeah. No. Diba? And yet... Walt Disney lang yan. Oh, diba? Na may happily ever after. Lagi yung... Pag may problema ka... I think that's the illusion. I think that's a great lie. Pag may kristyano ka, lahat ng problema mm-hmm. tapos na. Hindi. Yeah. Diba? Well, well, not, not, in, not in this world. Not, oh, not in, in this, this world. broken world. Oh, not in this broken world. And so, this is very real to a lot of people who are going through real situations. Even as firm believers, their situations are not being resolved. Right. And yet... Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. And so this may not end happily, but there was always going to be hope. Wow. Yeah. Ganon yung nangyayari na. May bagong and... sermon na ako for a funeral. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. And, and yun yung thing you eh. You don't the... necessarily have to resolve it. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And it's real. The loneliness oh. and depression and desperation is real. And we have to acknowledge it. But there is right. always hope. And that's, I think... A great thing about this the is beautiful because you don't people don't necessarily move on. You know, we like using that phrase, move on kana. Or well, forgive moving and forget. Oh, oh yeah, forgive and forget. Parang oh, iwan mo na lahat yan. But you don't. The yeah. truth is, y- you, don't. you don't just forget. You can move forward, but sometimes you can't move on. Halimbawa, hindi mo naman pwedeng kalimutang namatay yung kaibigan mo. Hindi naman, hindi realistic yun. Dala-dala mo pa rin yung pain nun, nung, you know, losing someone you love, but you can move forward. May limp yung lakad mo, but you're still moving forward. And uh, I remember yung kwento ni 
Spafford, tama ba? Yeah, Horatio Spafford. Horatio Spafford, who is the... Yung nagsulat nung It Is Well With My Soul. It Is Well With My Soul. Yung nangyari sa kanya, in a nutshell, is basically yung... yung Namatay yung... Pamilya niya, di ba? Yung, so, yung apat na anak... Nalunod. Nalunod. At yung natira lang doon sa buong barko ay yung missis niya who wrote to him and then... At, yeah, sent to, him a telegraph. Oh, grabe. And he journeyed to that area kung saan nalunod yung mga... Anak, anak yung, niya. Kung saan nagsink yung barko. And that's when he wrote that's the song. That's when he... Yeah, that inspired the, It Is Well With My Soul. Him. Imagine mo, no? Grabe. You can write It Is Well With My Soul at the very depths of your darkness. There's a quote here. This is actually the wife of Horatio Spafford. Uh-huh. Anna is her name. And she said, God gave me four daughters. Now they have been taken from me. Someday, I will understand why. I don't think she was writing that with like, yung happy. Oh, yeah. kasi sinabi, pag Christiano, masaya dapat. Oh, dapat masaya ka lagi kasi God is in control. Parang ganun lagi, di ba? Pero the truth is, it's a really broken world. Mm-hmm. And there are tragedies that's gonna happen and there will, some of them are not gonna be resolved. And yet, as Psalm 42 says, there is hope. There is hope. There is real hope. And it may not be here, but one day... I will understand. I will understand. At yun yung, I don't need to know all the answers now. Uh, but one day... I will. I will understand. Yeah. Isn't that even more relatable when you read Psalm 42? Na, totoo siya. People can relate to this. People can pray with this in tragedy. And so, the Psalms show na hindi naman lahat ng those who follow God are guaranteed are guaranteed a nice life, a pleasant life. Na pag nang Krisyano ka, tapos na natin ang problema mo, happy ka na. Hindi eh. Because we are living in a broken world and yet, at the same time, there is always hope. It doesn't assure us of a storm-free life, but it does encourage us that we are storm-proof in right. this life. And so, that is the introduction on how to read the Psalms. Psalms. Hopefully you guys who are listening to us, the next time you open up the Psalms, hopefully this would help you meditate on them deeper and you get to really feel the heart of the poetry, the beauty and the depth of the poetry that's right there. <laughs>